Hey everybody, it's the co- <laughs> On first down, Scott, and incomplete to open things up. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future All-Pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. To throw with Scott on first and ten. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. The number one pick a season ago, proving his worth. Seven sacks in 11 games as a rookie. Didn't play the full year due to some injuries, but he's going to be the face of the franchise on the defensive side of the ball. Miles Garrett, he fills up your screen when he's rushing the passer. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah! Now Scott, operating from the gun, letting one go deep for a noon walk. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Brianne Body Calhoun and his crew. the Jets already down two touchdowns here in the first half this becomes a pretty important drive doesn't it it certainly does and a lot of teams script plays we know that right they, they have a script to start the ball game and typically the and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down Miles Garrett and before this second down play we'll get a whistle a signal and a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter Scott looking to throw on second down. Looking deep downfield. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up. Jets offense about set to take over as they head on to the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a 
bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Looking to throw. Scott, throw left side to the tight end, Walford. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. The Jets and Browns, two cellar dwellers from a year ago, and they did meet in that season, week five, in Cleveland. Miles Garrett, it was his NFL debut. He got two sacks, but it was former Brown Josh McCown throwing two second-half touchdown passes to lead the Jets to the victory. And every time I hear about the Jets and Browns playing, you know what I think about? The first ever Monday Night Football game, the Jets at the Browns, Cleveland won. And the Jets set to take the field. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pre uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important Detroit. third down. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time. And he's going to go down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw. Scott eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. TJ Carey right there in coverage. The Jets on third oh, down. Not six. good, 0 for 4 thus six. far. This is third and 17. Looking to throw. Scott, he's going to air one out. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Jets' offense now works their way back onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Emmanuel Ogba in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And now the third down throw incomplete. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Back to throw. Scott dumps off to Powell. 
So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It's a gain of five, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Looking to throw. Scott, he's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Offside. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Good work that time to get him to jump. And now here's first and ten. Back to throw. Scott, complete out right to Kurz. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Looking to throw. Scott. Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, and for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. set to take the field. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Here we go now. Scott now. Back to the air on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off near the 44. And they'll start with great field position at the... The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily That's that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to and a big loss here as he's taken down. Emmanuel Ogba in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, right, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, and he's going to go down again. Michael Kendricks in there to drop him and back to... Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, I'm going to forget <laughs> today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, Detroit, playing, the Detroit. whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. I got 11. I got 
Here's Scott to throw on third down. Found his target. It's Anderson. There he goes left side. And way down into the red zone before he's dropped inside of Cleveland's 15. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Caught the tight end Walford. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds right, to play. 56. Lucky 56. Detroit. Detroit. To throw with Scott. From the gun, he'll throw. Escaping the pressure right. Over the middle. It's incomplete. He was trying to find our Darius Stewart. That'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the complete. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Joe Schober in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And a pressure gets to him again. He couldn't get the ball away on. Cool. Select the team you want to join. Fellas, we've got to have a great practice today. There's no other option. We've got 17 weeks. We strap it up and we get better each week. Now let's go. Green 39. Green.
Hey, man, listen. Great job today. It was a step in the right direction for you and this team. And as long as you keep moving in the right direction, we're going to be just fine. Get out of my way. It's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up. Play fake here on first down. It's caught on the left side by Kurz. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Now Scott on first down, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. These Jags and Jets, they met in one of the stranger games a season ago, week four, I believe it was, and got all the way down to 28 seconds remaining in OT before Chandler Catanzaro ended it for the Jets with a 41-yard field goal to win 23-20. One of the highlights of the season for the Jets, but how about the Jaguars finishing their year at the AFC Championship game? Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. to throw. Scott. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard at its fourth. Scott throwing on fourth down. Open man is Stewart. It's complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now we know that he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. Yannick and 
play. In there to get him for a loss of five. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Looking to throw. Scott got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after that. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the reach. The New York set to take Detroit, the field. Detroit. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Dante Fowler coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Back to throw, Scott. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. It'll be a pickup of 15. It's that a lead to third down. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence, or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. Looking to throw, Scott. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And give him a gain of 37. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flipped field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Yannick Ngakwe in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third Detroit, one in this Detroit. game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Yannick Ngakwe able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Back to throw. Scott. And this is going to be incomplete. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Scott now. Off the play fake. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Dante Fowler in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. The Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 17. Looking to throw. Scott under pressure again, and down he goes again. So out now come the Jets. And this is a spot late in the clock near midfield, though. Maybe take a couple chances, see if you get in field goal range. You do that if you have trust. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Back to throw. Scott. And he's going to go down again. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Need something from deep in the bag Detroit, of tricks Detroit. here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Looking to throw. Scott. 
Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages. And now out come the Jets. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Got his man, Isaiah Crowell. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Yannick Ngakwe. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time. And the pressure gets to him again. Dante Fowler. Who else? He's in there for his... Here's Scott. Throwing on first down. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Dante Fowler in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. A.J. Boye with a pick. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. To throw is Scott, throwing after the interception. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for a new one there, and now it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now Scott, off play action. He's got his man, it's Curse. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. Right, it's the just their first, so two the remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Scott from the gun on third down. And that's complete to Walford. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Yannick Ngakwe in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. He's got curse. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Back out of Philly. Here we go. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Malik Jackson in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run, when to get rid of the football and not take the sack, when to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. Scott now on first and ten. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that we were having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First and ten. Scott. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Here's Scott operating from the gun. Anubla's got it. Complete. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. To throw is Scott on first down. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Yannick Ngakwe in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Now Scott to throw on second down. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Dante Fowler in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Need something for deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And this is caught by Curse. And he'll get nothing out of that one. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the... And the Jets set to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain. Of and now here is another interception. Picked off by the linebacker, Telvin Smith. And they will take... And New York set to take the field. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about it. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off right around the 43. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilt, 